Hey guys, this is Jay Blue coming to another video, and today I want to show you guys how to install Infinity 2.0 custom firmware on any PSP. In this case, we're doing it on E1000s. I just got these from Europe yesterday, and I just basically installed 6.61 on both of them um, and upgraded them, and was weary that the 2.0 might fail or break me. Um, so as you can see on this one, it has a VSH menu and you could actually shut it down so it's already running Pro C. So, and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it with this one or any PSP. But, but typically you're going to have to have 6.61 or 6.60 and install the Infinity 2.0 first. And it's a more simple way compared to the old way which is really delicate, you actually had to build your firmware. But let's just install that. Again, this works for any PSP, 1000, 2000, or 3K. On the 3Ks, you do have to be running 6.60 or 6.61. Just click install on the 2.0. This is the newest. It will reboot. Now as you've installed that, you will notice that if you check, it will say infinity. Now after this, it's really up to you whether you're an LME person or a pro. Um, as for me, I'm a pro. So I used to be around with the Pro B10s and now it's Pro C. Never really had any problems with those. So you're going to install Pro C the normal way this time just hit X now as you can see the firmware has been upgraded but it's not going to perm until you actually use the 2.0 and again the reason why I put it on different sticks is because both of those files need to be under update or it will be seen as corrupted data and I just decided to put it like I said I was weird that it might brick and I never got E1000s before and yesterday I got these from Europe and I seem to have mod both of them with the new install so you're going to go to the bootloader configuration thing from the old file, but the newer, the 2.0, revert back and click home. And it brings you to this newer thing where you just click X. And that's how simple it is to install permanent custom firmware compared to the old way. Um, if you see my other videos, it's actually longer because that's the old way we used to do it in flushing the firmwares. So let's just see that this has stuck. Okay, now let's remove the stick. Actually, let's just click. Z now there is a Pro VSH menu, as you guys can see. So let's just shut down the device. Remove the stick. Check again. And as you guys can see, I just this one's a little damaged power there, and the other one's not. Again, I just got these yesterday from Europe for basically twenty dollars. And again, I was more weary about it having to brick, but I seem to be able to do it just like all the other consoles I've done. Let's just make sure that that firmware is. And there you go, guys. Um, again, I tried this on a 1000, 2000, and 3000, and it simplifies everything compared to the old way of doing it with the 1.0, as well as, you know, make, building and flashing your firmware. Um, to those guys who've never really done it before and you're still using the old way, uh, I hope this helps you guys uh, doing your consoles. Again, as you can see in the background, I do have one, two, and three models just sitting there all done. And I've just been doing it the old way before. And when I got these E1000s, it's kind of led to this. So I hope this helps you guys out there. For those of you guys doing it, um, please subscribe below and like. Thanks for watching my video. See you guys later.